Number one for New Country, 98.1 KHAK. It's Brain and Cortland, and we're super excited to have on the phone with us right now the front man of Old Dominion, Matthew Ramsey. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing good. We're living in an eternal winter, Matthew. Where um, are you at, Matthew? <laughs> I'm in Nashville, where it's like flooding. But. Oh, Ugh. well. <laughs> we're hoping that's not what comes <laughs> next up here, because we've got 18 million feet of snow on the ground. So, Yeah. <laughs> no snow here, just just lots of water. Well, uh, hey, we were excited to hear that your Make It Sweet tour is making a stop in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Now, we were going to see you right around Valentine's Day. February 15th was the scheduled date. But then you had to, uh, to do a little medical thing. So uh, how are you recovering from that? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm uh, hobbling around on some crutches right now and watching a lot of Netflix, but I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm almost ready to get back at it. Ooh, wait, I want to know what you're watching on Netflix <laughs> oh, right now. <laughs> now you've opened up a whole can of worms. Oh, man. Uh, I, think, I think I've reached the end of Netflix. I think I found it all <laughs> and I watched it all. It's all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you must be going a little stir-crazy then because you guys booked this huge tour and then you find out you've got to get the surgery and postpone a bunch of dates. Are you excited to get back out on stage? Yes, I'm so ready. It was a uh, it was a bummer to to say the least, really, to make that decision. I wish we had found out what the problem was a little bit sooner, and we could have taken care of it over the holidays. But but we find it just took a little bit to narrow down what the what the issue was. But once they found the tear, they had to get in there and fix it. So. Uh, so we had to move these couple of shows. But, yeah, I'm definitely ready to get back at it. Now, was this uh, was this in like an old sports injury from the past? or No, it just happened over time, really. I think too many jumping off the stage <laughs> and all that stuff and just kind of being active and just kind of over time wore it down. So yeah, you're, it tear, just you're definitely went. not one of those people that just stands on stage and doesn't do much. <laughs> No, I like to I like to move around a little bit. So uh, so yeah, I'm ready to get back to those days. Hope it was towards the end of the tour last year. It was starting to uh, hinder my ability to to do all the things that I wanted to do. So so it was it was pretty painful. So I had to figure out what it was so that I could get back to my my old self. Well, we're happy that you're uh, that you're healing up and that you guys are going to be back in town once again. March 31st is the new date for the Cedar Rapids show here at the U.S. Cellular Center. And you haven't really been able to do any shows because of this, but you guys have been releasing new music. And I got to tell you, One Man Band is hands down my favorite song right now. So good. Oh, awesome. awesome. Thank you. Awesome, Thank you awesome so song. Yeah, we're, we're very excited about releasing new music. We're finishing up. Actually, we just finished up another one yesterday. So, um so yeah, we're we're very excited about putting out some new stuff. So make it sweet is the current radio single name of the tour. Uh, when do you guys have a date yet set for the album this spring or not? We don't have an exact date quite yet, but uh, I mean I would say it would be late spring at some point though. So. Okay. Well, we're, we're all looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. This album is going to yeah. be so good. <laughs> I thought just maybe since we yeah. probably violated HIPAA violations here earlier in the interview, maybe we'd break some news on the <laughs> album date, too. Why not? <laughs> Let's break some news. Um, hey, we wanted to ask you some weird questions. Is that cool? Sure. You Yeah, you get shuffled around doing radio interviews, talking about your leg, the album, the tour. But now here are some hard-hitting questions that I guarantee Matthew Ramsey's never been asked before. Are you ready for this? All right, all right. <laughs> Recently, we had National Margarita Day. How do you like your margaritas? I like my margaritas uh, without any margarita stuff in them. I just like the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> just doing straight shots that's, of tequila. That's an answer. There. I, like I like it. That. I like it. I don't want any. I don't want anything getting in the way of that tequila. All right. All right. Question number two. It's Girl Scout cookie season. What is your favorite flavor, Girl Scout cookie? Oh man, um, I forget what they call them. It's the, are they the Samoas with the oh um, yes coconut yes. purple box? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Those. Can't, can't go wrong with a bunch of different varieties of Girl Scout cookies, in our honest opinion, anyway. I mean, it's hard to beat the thin mint. It's true. You put them in the freezer too, and you take them out and eat them cold. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question number three: <laughs> If you were a dog, what breed would you be? <laughs> Oh man, you know I have um, I have a Bernese Mountain Dog, and he's the happiest dog oh. I've ever met in my life. He just seems like nothing could bother him. So man, 
his life is looking pretty good. I, I'd be him. <laughs> What's his name? Can I ask that? <laughs> yeah, his name is Buck. Buck. Oh, I love it already. All right, only two <laughs> more questions for you. You have to stop for a quick bite to eat. Where do you go, fast food wise? Oh, fast food. Ooh, man! Are- if um, if there's an In-N-Out somewhere, if I'm in that part of the country, I, yeah, I would go for that. You're not so on jealous. like some fancy strict Nashville diet, are you, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, it's not it's not strict at all. I would I would like to eat well if I could. But, you know, the late night the late night fast food pizza shows up on the bus. I'm going. Uh, yeah. All right, and last question for you. We promise. What is the weirdest thing a fan has ever asked you to sign? Oh man, you ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh, oh he's got one ready. Ooh, I'm okay. ready. <laughs> this girl brought. A glove. Um, it's a glove that you use to inseminate cattle with. What? I grew up on a farm, and I know exactly <laughs> what he's talking about. Sweet Jesus, yeah. why? Why? Yeah, she brought this glove for us to sign. She told us what it was, and we signed it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's the strangest That's... thing we've ever seen. <laughs> that, listen, I heard, a, I heard a story about Keith Urban signing a prosthetic leg, but you guys won. You guys won. Yeah. <laughs> you, that, that story is insane. I don't even know what that yeah. is. That's why it's so weird I'm, to me. I'm going to explain to her what happens to cows on farms <laughs> oh, sometimes, stop, Matthew. Yeah. don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put it this way. It's a glove that goes all the way up. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well. <laughs> I never thought this was where we were going to go today, but. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> hey, uh, Matthew, thanks for taking the time to call in. We're glad you're healing up, and we are so excited to have you guys in Cedar Rapids on March 31st. We love you and your music. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you. We're excited to get there finally. Thanks thanks a lot for being patient and waiting on us.